Introduced in Season 1 as the first ever legend added into Apex, Octane was a little underwhelming. Mostly his jump pad had very limited usefulness and Pathfinder was just a much better option for aggressive players. But recent changes and buffs to Octane have made him one of the best legends for aggressive players, pushing him into a very high pick rate. So hello everyone, I'm your host is with the most this 8 second gaming and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down Octane and giving you the ultimate beginner's guide to him. By the end of the video you should know just about everything you need to know about the stimming daredevil and allow you to completely take over games. Just before we hop into things though, if you guys find yourselves enjoying this video at any point in time, please remember to drop a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the latest Apex Legends tips, tricks and news, don't forget to smash that sub button and ring the bell to be notified when we post a new video. But with all of that out of the way, let's talk Octane. Starting off, we have to go over his abilities, and normally I would start with their passives, but since Octane's passive mainly works with his tactical, I'm going to talk about that first and then his passive. So Octane's tactical is his stim. When used, it gives him a massive movement speed buff, making him the fastest running character in the game. It also removes crowd control effects like the slow from Arcstars or even Bangalore's ultimate. The stim is also better in some ways than other movement abilities abilities because it doesn't require you to be shot at like Bangalore's double time or have the long cooldown of a Bloodhound ultimate. The raw speed boost you get from this ability makes you so hard to hit just by strafing and throwing in some crouch spams. Though in a trade-off, Octane does take a chunk of health every time he uses this ability. Some recent changes to this made the health cost a bit higher, so that's why his passive plays really well into things. So let's move on and talk about the passive Swift Mend. The ability is super basic. Octane has so much of the stim flowing through him that he requires a dialysis machine constantly. That is why there's an apparatus on his hip on all of his skins. This is always filtering his blood, and after a short time of not taking any damage, Octane begins to automatically refill health. This can come in really clutch when you are being chased down and can't take the time to heal, or simply your team is just running low on health heals. With how much health you actually regenerate, you don't have to carry syringes. I personally never do and that allows me to have an open spot for more ammo or another nade to help me when I'm diving head first at teams. Though that is all personal choice and you can carry syringes if you feel the need to. But now let's talk about one of my favorite things with Octane and that's his jump pad. This allows Octane players to charge into battle at insane speeds or even get into some high ground with the right pad jump. This ability has an insanely short cooldown and allows Octane teams to rotate quickly around the map or constantly have a tool to jump into fights with. Like if you crack or knock someone on an enemy team, you can be on top of them in record times with the jump pad. But do remember there are three uses for this pad. Number one is if you just simply run onto it, you'll go higher but not as far, making it so you can get onto high ground with other teams while still gaining some distance. Number two is if you run and then slide onto the pad, this will send you further but lower, making you cover more distance at a faster speed but you won't go as high. And number three is if you stand next to the pad and punch, you are character will be moved onto the pad for you, sending you straight up into the air. This allows you to get some insane height and can make it so you and your team can get into some nice spots to play. Now, if you're going to play Octane, what kind of playstyle do you want to have on him? And that's simple, you need to be aggressive. His entire kit is designed around getting into the fight as fast as possible, and with all of your speed boosts, you'll be able to get in and out most times before anyone has a chance to see you. His speed boost from the stib makes him very hard to track when shooting, so people will have a hard time pinning you down, allowing you to cause havoc and allow your teammates to come up and help you while all the attention is on you. By now people may be thinking that Octane is all upsides and while he does have a lot of strengths, let's talk about some weaknesses. One main weakness that he does have is he doesn't have any defensive options. You really need to rely on your team for that, so if you're getting pushed by another team, Octane has no ability to hold a building other than just your raw gun skill. And number two is the amount of health that the stim takes away can add up quickly. If if you aren't paying attention or just getting carried away, you may not notice how low you actually are and can leave you very vulnerable to attacks. Just a couple uses can take you to 50 health, and if you happen to still be on white shield, you now only have 100 HP. Teams can easily beam you, killing you and making the fight a 2v3 very quickly. So just always be keeping an eye on your health when stimming around. I personally never try to dip below 50 health, and I try to stay as healthy as I can most times. So if Octane sounds like a good legend choice for for you, you may be asking yourself what kind of team comps will he work with? 
Well, that's going to be aggressive ones, teams that can control fights and reset very quickly after and look for the next one. This is going to be Octane, Bloodhound, and Gibraltar. Bloodhound offers a lot of information in fights, showing you where everyone is and seeing if there's a legend split from their team that you can push and single out. Plus, with their ultimate, the Hound is almost as fast as Octane, allowing them to keep up with you and push people. And for Gibby, he's just an amazing support legend that will be there to res you quickly if you go down, cut teams off with his ultimate, and help you reset very quickly after those fights. Bloodhound and Gibraltar are very good staple choices for this kind of team comp, but if they don't fit your or your teammates playstyle, then try to swap them out for a few other legends and see what works. You'll want to look for legends that complement highly aggressive playstyles, so you don't want to look for somebody like Watson because they revolve around being defensive in a building and that isn't what Octane is meant for. But now you may be wondering what kind of weapons would work best on a character like Octane. And for this, I'm going to say you'll definitely want to run a flatline and either a Mastiff or PK. The Assault Rifle allows you to have that range to be able to poke at teams, giving you opportunities to push if you get a knock or crack. And the flatline also doubles well in close range, having that amazing hip fire if you have to get up close and personal. And the shotgun is just a no-brainer. You're going to be diving headfirst right on top of teams. You need to have that hard-hitting gun to help you in those close combat fights. It doesn't matter if you use the Mastiff or the PK, they are both solid options currently and will be based on whatever one you are more comfortable with. Now I'm going to finish things off by giving some basic tips for Octane, mostly when you're fighting with him. First is a fun one with his jump pad. If you happen to be sitting on the other side of a door from someone and need to get in to kill them, don't kick the door down. Throw your jump pad at the base of it and this will launch the person off the door while simultaneously breaking it and your pad, allowing you to run into the building and finish off your kill. No one ever expects this and it really catches people off guard when done properly. Next up is to always be looking to abuse your stim in fights. While it's active, you are extremely hard to track, but you can also peek a lot of new angles very quickly. So take a few shots, dip back behind cover, peek out from a new spot, take more shots, and repeat. This will make you very hard to predict and give the team that you're fighting a worse chance of killing you. And for all my mouse and keyboard players, Octane's jump pads can be tap strafed off of. I don't want to get into the basics of tap strafing because that will make this video drag on way too long and go way too far off course. So this is going to be for the people that have a basic understanding of tap strafing. While midair on Octane's jump pad, you will hit your double jump. Almost immediately after doing that, you will initiate a tap strafe. This will allow you to change direction with the tap strafe and be very hard to hit while midair on Octane's pad. And lastly, if you're playing Octane solo, remember that you are a lot faster than most. Always be looking at your minimap to see where your teammates are because it is very easy to get separated from them. And if they get caught out without you, it can be bad news for them. So just glance at the map from time to time to make sure they are close by. And if you find yourself getting too far apart, just chill on the stims for a bit. That's going to be all for today's video though, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found some of these tips useful. Octane is an insanely fun legend and one that I found myself playing a lot to the point where I have just over six and a half thousand kills on him. If you're the type of person who wants to just go full tilt full time, Octane is the character you're looking for. His kit complements that playstyle really well. Once again though, if you found this video useful and informative, please remember to drop a thumbs up, it really helps the channel out. And if you haven't yet, you should definitely hit that sub button to stay up to date with our channel. We do daily, highly educational Apex Legends video aimed at making you the best player you can be, so you do not want to miss them. Thank you all for watching, once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.